Let me tell y'all a story about a time I was chased by a wolf. We decided to go for a spontaneous hike in the mountains of Colorado. We had no plan, no equipment, no brains. For about a half a mile before we saw the first sign of civilization, which was a house. I started to play the what if game. What if we get lost? What if I get hurt? What if we see a wild animal? I began to let fear creep in and I was on high alert. Not far from the house, we take a turn and it was a turn for the worse. About 30 feet away from me was a wolf. Listen, Linda, I know you're supposed to play calm in those scenarios, but when you're in it, all logic goes out the window. So I ran, I ran for my life. And the person I was with was an elite sprinter. So needless to say, I was not leading the pack. I was like, this is it. This is how I'm going to die. <laughs> it was in that moment that I learned that you could hysterically cry and run at the same time. So I ran back to the house, I banged on the door, nobody answered, so I crouched down behind a trash can. So I peek around the corner and there she is walking towards me, except this time I noticed something different. She had a shiny object around her neck. Yep. The big bad wolf was in fact the world's sweetest dog. Because I was walking in fear, I perceived something scary to be there that wasn't really even there. How many times have you created a scary story about your future that hasn't even happened yet? We start to play the what if game. What if I fail? What if people think I'm dumb? What if I don't know where to start? It's time to start walking confidently forward in your future and business and stop playing the what if game. Quit letting fear win. Stop running from your fears and start embracing what's right in front of you.